Good morning everyone. Welcome back to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am making a W card. Woohoo! A W and I've even done a Whoa! wobbler. Ha. So I've never made one of these before so it was fun. I did start to make a theater card and gave up and put it in the bin because I just couldn't get it to work. So, thankfully, this one survived. Alright, for that one, I used the Hunky Dory Silly Snowman and some of the Furry and Bright. That one there was from Furry and Bright, and that one, those ones there are from a different one that I haven't got out. Oops. So anyway, this time I'm making a Halloween one. Do, do, do. So in the seal, I bought this Penny Black Halloween Critters, which really annoys me. Halloween animals. Okay. And I've used a cap from this one here, but I don't know where it's from. So anyway, for this one, I have used papers from my stash that came from Stampin' Up, okay, so, and on that one I did an inked piece, and this is a Stampin' Up die, but on this one I'm not, I'm doing, these are tonic ovals, just the straight and the scallop that match okay so I've just cut two of them to fit the front of my card right eleven and a half by four and one eight scored at five and three quarters and keep it landscape okay then you need a bit that is four by five and five eighths and you need a bit that is three and three quarters by five and three eighths And you're just going to stick them on to the paper. Like that. Okay. Then that will go on my front bit. I'm not very good at using them tape pens. So I'm not. I prefer wet glue. So the two inside panels that we're putting on next, we're just we're not using a mat like we did here. We're just putting them on and they are four by five and five eighths. Okay. Oops, wrong way round, upside down. Good job I used glue. Good job I use Kalal glue. There's so many reasons to love that glue. Right, so then these two will go inside. I love Halloween. I don't have very many Halloween papers. That's not the right size. Five and three eighths, that should have been. Oops, I think them other two are too long too. They should be five and three eighths. Four by five. Nope, that's too short. What is going on with my panels? They're just a smidge and Five and a half. Is that right? Yes, that is right. So it should be four by five and a half for some reason. I know not, but it's not right. 
and if it's not right it's not right that's because my this would be my top folding part which makes this part shorter that's why oops that will be the oops could I use that one anyway if I just cut it down a bit that way I know it has got a slightly bigger border but would it matter or am I too perfectionist for that You see, it was late yesterday when I started preparing this. So it was. And after the whole theatre card disaster, I was literally losing the will to live. So, once again, I'm trying to do this video before TJ turns up. Right, then you need a strip of card that is one and three quarters by eleven and a half. And you're going to score at two and seven eighths, five and three quarters, and eight and five eighths. Okay? And then you fold them and burnish them. You go mountain valley mountain. Um, that's how you get your W back. Okay. So, wait till we do this bit again. Wait, I put this boy on before I forget. This is our panel for the front. So it's a beautifully warm, pissing wet day in Northern Ireland. As usual, we get warm, but we get rain. So, lots of fun. Not, as my daughter would say, lots of fun, not. Ooh, big hair, I nearly got a big hair in there. Right, and that's just going to sit on there. And then... I have cut, coloured and cut. It's this one here that I'm using for the front. So I am. Um, and did I do anything else for the front? I think I did. I just can't remember at this stage of the year. Okay, there you go, right, now, now, hi now brown cow, right, we'll just stick these on while they're here. Okay, so there we go. There she blows. Isn't it pretty? I've cut some bats from a dye that I got years ago that I might stick on in a minute once I have finished the inside, but for the time being, that is the front. Okay, so put that away and then work on your W, so that's the way it's going there. So your panels are going on, right? Where's the other one? They're all there a minute ago, I painted them. Come on. Find it. Right, so 
I gave you the measurements of those two and a quarter by two and three quarters and then two by two and a half. Make sure if you've got directional paper that it's like that. Okay. And then that's just they go on in the middle of these. Oh no, is that right? Yes. Now just check. No, that's not right. Yes, that is right. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So they're going on in there. So I've already stuck my images onto these other ones. I've actually die cut them out as uh, one of the stumping up papers and um, that's a little kitty and that one there this one here is an old harvesting that i found uh, it was just in my stash that was ready colored in so i just thought i would use it so okay so what way did I want this? I wanted this a specific way, which is not that way. Was it that way? And then this one. And then these two had these images on them. And that's another one from the... It's that one. And that one there is that one from the Penny Black Critters, Penny Black Animals. Right, so and all I did was stick a bit of glue on in the middle and guesstimate. That it was just tried and keep it at all the same height. Okay. Does that work? Yep. Not too bad. Right, last one. Whoa, black Betty, ram lamb, whoa, black bear. Right. And then you just, I'm just going to use some sticky to stick my animals up. Oh, that one, I know why that one's not on. Huh. I know why I wanted these a certain way. I wanted my popper on here this time. So I found these in my drawer. I know I bought these a long time ago and I didn't use them but these are for your action wobblers I think that's what they're called for if you're searching for them action wobblers and I'm just trying to take the back and paper off and I'm not sure what's the back and what's the front but this is going to be the back bit for me Like that. I want to make sure you, you can't see it. Okay. Oops. And then take that bit off the front. Oh, come on, stay straight, you piece of plunker. Okay, I give up. Doesn't want to stay straight on there, so it can stay straight on there. There, and there we have our action wobbler. So it doesn't really make much difference to the card height at all. It's a bit, a little bit of height, but it's pretty. And that, in my book, is the bit that matters. That it's pretty. So I'm just sticking some glue on the end of this one, not all the way down, and on the end of this one, but not all the way down. And 
then we will stick them into the middle of our card. Come down. Right, and all you really needed was a sentiment then, which I did this trick or treat, and I uh, out of that stamp set, and I white embossed it, and then used a punch to get it out. And because there's a little bit of purple on there, I thought I would use a little bit of purple on it for its backing. Okay. There. Oops. Didn't even add it. There we go. Trick or treat. Now I did have have a perfect Halloween for. I was going to put that under the kitty. I think above the kitty. Maybe just inside. If we cut it down, I have to say, I do love my tonic trimmers. I don't think I could craft beside them now. Okay, now we're just going to put that on flat. And that is our W card with an action wobbler. Okay, that's that one. And there's our Christmas one. So, hope you liked them. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really is appreciated. Until next time, jaggy out.